Hey, Anatomy. Welcome to Thursday, April 2nd. Um, four days in. I uh, hope it's going well again. Still staring at that green dot. I'm going to keep talking about that green dot. Cause, you know, I've been inside a lot. So have you. I enjoy this time of just staring up in the space, just talking. But I should start so that you can get going. Okay, so I'm gonna screen share and I realize that I forgot to change to the next slide before I started. Okay, so it's Thursday 4-2. Let me remind you of your tasks. Um, go to RenWeb, watch the video of this lesson like you're doing right now. Make sure you're taking notes. Attend the question and answer session from 1230 to 1255. And remind you the only reason you shouldn't be there is if there's a technology problem and then you should email me. Complete the assignments listed in the Google Classroom and then email me if you need any individual help. I'm available from 3.30 to 5, a little bit in the morning. Okay, make sure you have these materials. You know how to take notes, but I'm gonna keep doing this until Friday. Turning in the notes, make sure you take a photo and upload them by the Q&A time. Okay, so today we're gonna to talk about the ear. We've been talking about the eye and everything about the eye and the problems about the eye. And so today we're gonna to start the ear. And yes, you will need to draw parts of this, but I drew it, I'll show you a drawing that I drew. You can draw however you want to. Um, it just, it is what it is, but you're gonna get, this ear's gonna be up here a while. Exciting, I know, but here's how you hear. All right, so we're going to start with Roman numeral two, the ear. I don't know why, <laughs> I think it's Roman numeral two. In my notes, it says one. Roman numeral two, the ear. Parentheses, hearing and balance. Roman numeral two, the ear, open parentheses, hearing and balance, close parentheses. So not only is this important for hearing, we're gonna um, talk about balance um, Friday, um, which is pretty cool. I mean, you're just more than one thing. You know, that, you know a lot of times you think it's just one. Okay, so capital A, anatomy of the ear. Capital A, anatomy of the ear. Little a is pinna, which is right here, parentheses, oracle. Pinna, parentheses, oracle. So we're, I'm switching what this is, so pinna. Um, it doesn't matter what you call it, but it's just the outer ear. So we're a little, that's your outer ear. Okay, that was interesting. All right, number one with a parenthesis, it's what we usually see is the ear. Number one with the parenthesis, what we usually see is the ear. What we usually see is the ear. Number two, it surrounds the auditory canal. Number two, surrounds the auditory canal. And this is the auditory canal right here. So that's what you put your Q-tip in. You're not supposed to do that. But what the heck's the Q-tip for? I don't know. But you're not supposed to put your Q-tip in here. So don't do that. You put it in too far, you hit this, and wow, that hurts. So, you know, can't get your finger in there, but you can get a Q-tip there. So be careful with Q-tips. Folks, that's, that's what I want to share for today. Be careful with Q-tips. Okay, you hear me, Cash? Be careful with that Q-tip. All right, number three. Most animals, open parentheses, not humans, close parentheses. Most animals, open parentheses, not humans, close parentheses, collect and direct sound waves into the auditory canal. collect and direct sound waves into the auditory canal. Okay, so it kind of does, it's kind of like a cup. So if you want to direct, um, direct sound waves into your ear, you go like this, what? And it will direct it in. Um, cats and dogs, they're like this, okay? The aardvark, ready? Right, right, okay. Hello. Okay, so we, we lost that function, but some of you, and this would be where I would go, can anyone move their ears? And someone would go, I can do it. And I can, well, I can if I do this. Well, look, my ear's moving. Okay, so I don't know. But there are some things that with my ear that I can do that we'll talk about in the Q&A because I can't show you the video here. Um, we're gonna hit that PowerPoint slide, but um, I'll show you in the Q&A session. So we are on, now, little b, little b, external auditory canal. 
and right here, external auditory canal at the bottom, external auditory canal. We're not gonna call it external uh, acoustic meters. Um, you can, but it makes better sense to remember it, external auditory canal, external meaning outer, and it's the canal that is going to, auditory meaning here, it's gonna send the sound waves to the eardrum. Um, external auditory canal. So it's right here, that's what I've been playing about. Don't put the Q-tip in there. Um, one with a parenthesis, short, narrow chamber. One with a parenthesis, short, narrow chamber. Number two with a parenthesis, uh, carved into the temporal bone. Carved into the temporal bone. As you can see it right here, this is all bone. Carved into the temporal bone. So when we were doing the skull, you did this as the external auditory meatus, and we said it's the opening to the skull for the ears. Um, that's what that is. So this right here is what we learned as the external auditory meatus. So I would have the skull out and go, look, here's the external auditory meatus that you remember learning, but I didn't bring the skeleton with me. I probably could have. Huh, whoops, oh well, sorry. So here, it's here. If I could take, well, he doesn't have a skull, but you know what I'm saying, okay. Uh, let's move on. Little C, tympanic membrane, which is right here. Little C, tympanic membrane, which is your eardrum right here. Um, some of you have broken, had that broken at some point, and um, some of you have had surgery to, make, to heal it. Some of you have had lots and lots of scarring to it because of um, ear infections as a child. And some of you, it looks, it, you know, it heals pretty well. And so um, it's hard to tell, but some of you may have hearing loss, you don't know it. So please, please be careful with it. I mean, I know you got a lot of headphones on and you may have headphones on now. Turning it up makes it do this, but remember it's also vibrating your brain, which kind of gives you little tiny concussions. So please be careful. Um, playing music really loud in your car, you will lose your hearing. I mean, there are people, the rock stars that have a, um, a plug in one ear, and, but they have to have the other ear open so they can hear the music around them. And now as they age, they're deaf in the ear that they didn't have the ear plug in. So please be careful with your hearing because if you listen to music really loud, which you know, yeah, rock out to that song, man. Boop, 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 boop. That's me rocking out. I know you liked it. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm laughing at myself because no one's laughing in here. Huh? All right. So anyway, be careful with your hearing. So we wrote little c, tympanic membrane, number one with the parenthesis, eardrum. Number one with the parenthesis, eardrum. Two with the parenthesis, vibrates when sound waves hit it. You don't need the it on the end. Um, two with the parenthesis, vibrates when sound waves hit. We don't need the it. Vibrates when sound waves hit. So right now as you're hearing this, it, the um, tympanic membrane is going and it's vibrating and then your body's gonna these bones are going to move and it's going to interpret that vibration, which again is really intricate and really cool. I mean, these are the tiniest bones you have in your body that we're about to talk about. Okay, so um, this is where the video would be, but because it's a YouTube video, I can't play it. So we're going to see it another time or I'll give you the link, but it's really cool if you can hear a rumbling sound between your ears. I can hear it. Um, it's it's genetic and some of us can and some of us can't. A lot of us, it's supposed to be a lot of us can't, but when I ask around, a lot of kids go, yeah, I can have that happen. I can do that. Um, I, I, I knew I could do it when I was a little kid because anytime I got in trouble and my mom or my dad would yell at me, I would just make that rumbling sound in my ear and I can't, it, it drowns them out a little, a little bit. So it was like, mm, I can't hear you, I can't hear you. And they had no idea. So, sorry, mom and dad. <laughs> okay, so we'll see that later. Okay, so let's go back to this picture. Um, number two, this is a big two, middle ear, open parentheses, tympanic cavity. Number two, middle ear, open parentheses, tympanic cavity, and tympanic is right here, okay? Tympanic cavity. So we're talking about um, this part right here in the middle ear, this right here, okay? All right, A, little a, small air-filled cavity, small air-filled cavity, there's more to this sentence now, small air-filled cavity within the temporal bone. 
small air full air filled cavity within the temporal bone so here's the bone boom here and here and i if i had the skull i'd show you and then take the cap off and you could or go underneath and you could see it so here it is in this picture i wish i had the skull to show you i guess i could get a skull picture oh well too late so you have to imagine Ooh, i'm imagining it okay <laughs> sorry <laughs> Okay, um, so this is kind of like the middleman to transfer. So it, this would be like having three people transfer buckets of water. The first person transferring the bucket of water is in the outer ear, and then they get off, give, give the bucket to the next person, the second person, and so that's here. And then finally we get the bucket to the third person who throws it on the fire, and that's right here. So this is just the middleman to transfer the vibrations from one thing to another. Okay, that's all this is, that's all this part is. Okay, so little b, two openings. Little b, two openings. Little b, two openings. One with a parenthesis, oval window. And it's right here, oval window, and follow line, whoop, right here, you can see this oval right here. That's the oval window, hence the name oval, window meaning opening, okay? Uh, number two with a parenthesis, round window, which you see, follow it in, it's here. Look, there's a round opening. Round meaning it's round shape, window meaning opening. Wow. You know, I worked hard on these names, which I'm happy for. Do not get me wrong, do not change the names, because it makes more sense that way and it's easier to remember okay um so let's go to the drawing right here and so this is my drawing from my notes and you can use my drawing to draw it from i know it's a little bit difficult to see and i've got the sound waves coming in hitting here and then going up and around and here and we'll learn about that tomorrow so um you need to draw this either draw the picture before here somehow if you want to in your notes or draw this somehow in your notes and label it um draw that and then see what you need to label just do what you need to do man okay so uh ooh, where am i oops something is going on i have done something erroneous so what's supposed to happen here is not that it's supposed to be this because those other two are for Friday. So we're done. Only 12, oh, it's a, it's a shorter one today. I thought I'd give you a break. So today you make sure you're at the Google, or sorry, the Q&A at 1230. Please be there. Make sure you, the only reason not to be there is if you have a problem with your, um, whatever this is, you know what it is. I don't know, my brain is tired. Ah, I forgot to change this to Thursday again. Okay, eventually I'll get the hang of this. So I'll see you all at 1230. Remember, if you need any individual help to email me. So I, again, I really do miss you all and we'll see you in the Q&A.